excited to bring you a freaky fast Friday and I'll give you guys more details in regards to that in just a moment. Today I am going to be documenting my little one's obsession with Transformers. So I found this uh, paper kit that had been in my collection for quite a while. Um, I don't even think that Best Creations is around anymore. But what I loved about them was that every single ooh, every single sheet of paper had glitter on one side of it. So it was it's just a fun collection to work with. So the Freaky Fast Friday is from the Scrap Room blog, um, which you can find at the Scrap Room blog blogspot.com. And what it is is you take one 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper or cardstock as your base and then you use a formula that they give you which this month it is a 10 by 10 10 and a half by 10 and a half which is that wonky colorful paper a six by seven a one and a half by four a three and a half by seven a five by seven and a half and a two by three and you take that and you move the cuts of pieces around on the base until you find a design that you like, which is what I'm doing now. And I tried to initially start out with two, um, to put all of it on two pages, but I just didn't like the way it looked. So um, I put four of the papers down. I like the way those look. And I still have those two little pieces on the side that I'm gonna find a place for here in a minute. So I cut down these photos, and these photos are just random photos of him with his Transformers um, over the last year and a half. So we have them in the bath. He has uh, he got some from uh, Grandma when for Christmas. Uh, the picture where he has one on his head. He's actually at the doctor's office, and then we're at Universal, and you have Bumblebee behind all of us. So I put those four pictures together, and I put them on a white cardstock and made a grid style with them and well, I'm getting my inks out here um, and I'm going to ink up all of the edges with um, I think faded jeans is the name of it yeah faded jeans distressing and it's um, like the closest that I had that you could see for like a navy color which I really like so now that I've inked it all up and I'm going to put all of my pieces down I decided that I wanted to, because I had such a big <clears throat> photo mat there, that I was going to offset everything. So I'm putting everything towards the bottom, and then I was going to have my pictures towards the top, but I ended up changing it um, later on. So, I don't know why I didn't cut all this out. <laughs> I usually cut out all my um, gluing down because I, you know, it's, you know, like watching paper dry <laughs> to adhere everything down. So this is where I put my photos and then I realized that I cover up like everything on that page. So off those went. Um, and I decided to make um, another grid. I think I only ended up using one of those pictures and then the four by six that he's on the trampoline and he got, they were doing like community partners or something at school where they were learning about police and fire and all the other community helpers and so he had made a police hat that day at school and when he got home he was like look I'm just like Chase um, which is one of the transformers in rescue bots so he has it in the lower bottom of the picture there so then I like the way that that looked um, with just the three photos because it wasn't taking up as much real estate so I put um, fun foam on the back of all of it so it pops up and then I'm going to put fun foam here on this little piece here. So I still have those two pieces that I'm trying to figure out where to go. Um, so one of them covers up some of that white space. Um, and then I have a little bit of space left that I'm going to put some embellishments in the center there. And then I end up moving it because it wasn't straight. So now I'm trying to figure out that last little piece there, um, and I just couldn't figure it out. So I like that boys and their toys, even though it's just him with his toys. 
um, but I thought it was pretty fitting. And that actually ends up being moved up to the top left because I felt like the, that just the blue card stuck up there was um, a little lonely. So I find all of the perfect pieces, all these little gears, little circles that fit perfectly, some stars, and later I take it all off because I don't like the way it turns out. So I'll show you that in a second. So I finally decided to put that little square piece down at the bottom. And I realized that I forgot to ink it, so I'm going to have to ink it up. And then I'm trying to find out, because there's a, some trapped white space, even though it's a light blue space. So I'm trying to figure out a sticker to go right there. And I really like that fun times, and I think I actually bring it out later on, too, to audition it somewhere else, and it just doesn't end up working. So I end up with this cool, with a little robot head. And then that's when I realized that I needed to move that boys and their toys up. So I like this little robot. Um, I want to put him right next to it. And I tried to use the pieces that mimicked the Transformers. So I'm using these stickers, Daiquiri, um, from American Crafts. And I'm going to spell out Transformers. And I'm going to misspell it. And I, But luckily, I find figure out that I misspelled it um, when I show it. I pull it up to show it to you guys, and I realized I forgot the N. So um, I did not have enough R's, so I used all of my N's, all but one N, to make R's with. And then I'm going to use these yellow puffy stickers from Ellie Studios to write Obsession. So my title will be Transformer Obsession. So then when I hold it up here, and I'm looking at my screen to make sure that it's focused for you guys, I, it looked funny. And I was like, oh, because I'm missing it in. So I fixed that really quickly for you guys. So I really like this little spaceship here, and I'm going to pop dot it up and as I'm, or put it on fun foam. And as I'm doing that, I think that's when I realized that it just looks like, do you remember when, when way back in the day when like Miss Guzman stickers were all the rage and we had, we called them sticker sneezes where it just looked like you sneezed and there were just tons of stickers all over the place. So that's what it looked like to me, and I was like, yeah, no, I can't do that. So I bring in another robot, and I bring back one of the bigger stickers, and I think I add one more little star there. And that looks a lot better. So then I start to work on the other side, and I wanted to use up some of the scraps that I had made from cutting those other pieces. So I like this gears with the blue. And I think I just add just a few extra pieces on this side. I don't add a whole lot because I felt like the other side was, I embellished a lot on that side. Um, so I audition quite a few pieces and then I end up with this one and it's not long enough. So I go ahead and cut it um, so that it will span across the page. And now I'm adhering it all down, so you see my little space there that I'm going to cover up with um, this bigger piece. And then after I put that down and lay down my photos, And that's really the base of this page. I feel like it I didn't need a whole lot to it. So I'm going to pull these two back to show both of them. And I do add um, some embellishment to the right-hand side as well. 
there's that fun times that I was trying to make work on the left hand side and I think it works perfectly over there to cover up that dead space at the top of the photo when he was at the doctor's office and this photo oh this is where I show you guys like it's not it is a 12 by 12 strip and it's not 12 by 12 um, so I just add it to the top and then I'm gonna add a little circle element to the bottom a little robot down there Oh, so I was telling you about this, the picture with him, with the transformer on his head. We were up all night, the night previous to that picture, um, with him with an ear infection. He cried all night long. And we tried, we gave him some um, children's pain medicine and it just, it was a horrible night. So then we get to the doctor's office and he's all smiles, like nothing's wrong. And I was like exhausted. <laughs> So I just did some journaling in regards to um, his obsession and him having to take a bath with him. And he probably has at least 20 Transformers um, and they go everywhere with him. He has a backpack that's full of them, takes them back and forth between our house and his mom's house. Even though we have the rule that, you know, we have our own toys, she has her own toys, but it doesn't matter. Um, with those Transformers, they went back and forth. <laughs> So I'm going to use these tiny tile stickers to put the year 2017 and then um, in yellow and then I did 2018. I just put it on fun foam and put it right underneath because um, it, it went for about a year and a half. So um, and some of these pictures are both from 2017 and then some of them are for 2018. So then I'm going to ink the edges and that is it. My page is done. I love this technique. I didn't think I would when I first saw this challenge, but I thought that it was uh, something different and I wanted to try my hand. So I will definitely be back next month to see what um, the scrap room comes up for us and all of these um, close ups for you guys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, if you'll hit that subscribe button, if you want to see more two page layouts, because that's all I do on this channel. I hope you have a scrappy day, everyone, and thanks for watching.